Hello everyone, Model Deer Farmer with you here today, doing another review. Sorry we haven't had a review in a little while, the past week and a week and a half has just been kind of busy around, um, so I apologize for not getting any videos out, but it's just kind of been a little bit busier time, um, going into this weekend and the next week. I think are going to be a little bit less busy, um, so maybe a few more videos. Um, but yeah, today we're going to look at something that I took a look at during, um, a live stream, I don't know how long ago it was, probably a month ago now, um, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but it probably was at this point. We have our 7R330 with custom wheels, so pretty much this is the normal 7R330 by Ertl. Um, that normally just has single tires. Um, but yeah, so it does come in a blister card pack. It is your replica play version. Um, so you get this, uh, collector card here, 7R330 on the front. Um, manufactured in Waterloo, Iowa. Original price is $324,608 in 2020. This tractor's got 330 engine horsepower, 122 gallon fuel capacity, and 115 inch wheelbase. So, that's kind of some information on this tractor. I picked this tractor up from a, a John Deere dealer, um, I think for about 15 bucks. So that's pretty much around there is kind of what you're gonna want to be paying for this thing. Um, but like I said, when you buy it, it does come with singles. You can get the prestige version, which would have duels and all the fancier stuff on it, but I did not go that route. I ended up just getting the um, replica play version but this one has duels on it so I uh, thought that this thing would look better with duels and so pretty much what I did was I have this other 7R right here I ended up being able to pick this one up for about this one for five dollars so I took the outside duels off of that and then added them on this tractor right here so now we have duels I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's what I've customly done. And I just left the normal inside wheels on there. And then the uh, these outside ones just fit right in to the hole in the wheel weights. So I didn't even have to pull an axle apart, redo an axle or anything. It was pretty much just glue them onto the outside. And I think the tractor looks a lot better. We'll get into the actual tractor now. So we do have our hood there. It is a plastic cover hood, um, pretty much like all the newer um, John Deere Ertl tractors now. Got your John Deere logo, 330, 7R. You got your air vents there. You do have your engine covers there, so you don't see any of the engine. Um, you got your grill up here with your lights, decal, and your lower lights. You got your nice looking weight bracket, nice straight even across, which looks really good. You got your front tires, which are pretty much um, the same that we've been seeing on 7Rs for a while. Like pretty much they're the same same front tires as on the John Deere 7270R. Um, we do have fenders on here, so you get those newer looking John Deere fenders. Um, we do have the air cleaner over here. It's got the two lights on the front of it. You got your diesel cap there that's painted green, which is really nice detail. You got your toolbox that's right there. Um, you got your fuel tank. You got your def cap that's painted blue there. You got your steps that are painted all the way up, so that looks really good. Moving over to the other side, we'll kind of look over here. You got your exhaust pipe with, your again, your two lights on it. Um, your steps over there. Um... So nice detail there, um, front hood and everything looks a little bit the same. What I guess when I got this, um, it's got this little black mark. Um, I don't know why, and I can't seem to really get it off. I've tried to get it off, um, but I'm pretty sure it came like that. And so I'm not sure what it was. Um, maybe it's a little bit of black paint from those grill areas right there. I don't know. I might keep working at it, see if I can get it to go away. 
We do have the new and updated cab. So we got the new cab, like what we got on the 8RXs and stuff. Um, so you got your very detailed steering wheel in there along with your normal operator seat and buddy seat. You got your extended monitor over there. Um, very detailed interior. Um, so looking good there. Like I said, here's the top of your cab. There is a little bit of a stress mark on there, which I was trying to find the best tractor out of all of the ones that they had there, out of the 7R330s, and they like they all had that. So that's just a stress mark in the plastic. It's not the best thing, but you don't really notice it that much, especially from a further away distance. You do have your Starfire, integrated Starfire there. You don't have any of the painted lights around there. I mean, you kind of got the shape for them because they'd kind of be like that on um, the Prestige ones, but they're not painted on, um, which is kind of what we expect for this um, this lower level here. Our back tires, like I said, added the outside ones from the 7270R, and the inside ones are pretty much the same as what you've been seeing on those 7Rs, like the 7270R, that's why I chose to get one of those, because they got exactly the same tires. Um, I did measure the tires with a uh, Ertl planner, and they're fairly close to 30-inch spacing. They're pretty darn close. I mean, they're not exact, but they're pretty close. Um, so that is pretty cool. You got your rear fenders here with your ex black extensions. Those are painted black. Um, you do then have your tail lights right there that are painted on as well. You have your SMV sign there. You got a whole bunch of detail back here with your really long extended drawbar. Um, your kind of your PTO area down there, hydraulics and all that stuff. Nice detail on the back of this tractor. Um, so yeah, very nice detail all the way around this thing, even though it, it is only a replica play version. Um, it's made in China. There's kind of a view underneath. Um, the front axle tilts back and forth pretty much like all hurdle tractors have um, in the past 15 years or so. Um, so, very nice tractor. I like it a lot more now that it's uh, it's got the duels on it. I guess if you're wanting it for more of a hay tractor, you can leave those duels off. You can hook it up to a, a baler or something. Personally, I have this thing hooked up to a planter, and so I just thought... I have it hooked up for display on a planner, so I just really thought that the uh, duels would look really nice on it, and I was able to find that cheap 7270R for only 5 bucks, um, and it was brand new in package too, so I was really happy to find that to be able to get the duels, because I do have another 7270R, but this is my one that I've had for a really long time, and I didn't want to take the duels off of that one. So, we took, we got another one for really cheap, um, and ended up getting the duels off of that to add on to this one um but i hope you enjoyed the uh video here um i hope you like the custom custom rear duels on it i really like it i think it looks good um i pretty much told you everything that you need to know on uh if you're wanting to do it yourself other than how to take the tires off of the original 7r which you're pretty much just going to want to heat up the whole back end of the tractor like on a like with a heater or something and then you're gonna be able to pop those outside tires off um because they are just heat pop on ones so they should come right off if you heat them up and everything so i hope you enjoyed this video um like i said more videos hopefully coming into this weekend get a decent amount of them out to you guys um but if you enjoyed Make sure you hit the like button um, and make sure you subscribe as 95% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I post any new videos. Um, we're tr we we want to hit 300 subscribers now. Um, I think a good goal for that, it's like April 5th right now, I think, or somewhere close. I would say if we can get to 300 subscribers by the end of May, that would be really cool. So let's try and push for the end of May for 300 subscribers. Um, also, if you have any comments or questions or have any ideas on what we should review next on the channel, 
you can leave that down in the comment section below. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is Model Deer Farmer, out.